problem. We have here uniform, uniform non-conducting rod of mass m and length l with charge density lambda as shown in diagram. One end of the rod is positively charged. <coughs> the other end of the rod is the negatively charged here. Half of the half of the half, half of the length of the rod is positively charged. Remaining half of the length is negatively charged. Then is engineered the midpoint at origin so that it can rotate in an horizontal plane without friction. Uniform electric field is exists parallel to x-axis in the entire region. Calculate the period of small oscillations of the rod. We have to find out the time period of oscillations of the rod. Let me earlier what was the position? The rod was in this position. Now I'll, I'll go to rotate it. So now this position is what it's shown. Now, now it's the rod is given some angular displacement theta in counterclockwise about O. Then you come to this position. So now let's assume two elements <coughs> in the positive or in the, in the positive half of the rod. Let me assume one element, and in the negative charged part of the rod. <coughs> Let me assume another element. Let me indicate the charge clearly. It's not visible. So this is the negatively charged part of the rod. This is a positively charged. So the length is L by 2. L by 2. Let, let me give a better description of the question so that it will be easy for you. Okay, now. You look at the you look at the, this part. So I, I assume a small element. Then the force on that element will be towards right because a positively charged <coughs> a positively charged element or the force will be force acting will be in the direction of electrostatic force no so df should be equal to dq into e positive charge will experience the force electrostatic force in the direction of electric field what about if the negative charge the force will be opposite to the electric field that that's what you can see here why on the negative charge element towards left because of this condition and, and what is further dq dq should be equal to lambda into dx and then uh, what shall we do after this this distance is y where sin theta equal to y by x or y equal to x sin theta now, let's see about the torque about point two both the forces will set up a torque Okay, df into y will be clockwise torque. df, df into y, this also y, the distance will be y. So df into y will be again clockwise. So the net torque and what is y further? x sin theta. So how, how come I am writing directly? How come I am writing directly? So what is the basic idea now? d tau should be equal to df into y. What is y? Okay, that, that, let, let me use the, so let me change the nib of the pin. It looks very odd writing such a bold letter. So d tau should be equal to df into y. What about this distance? This should be y. Again, the same, this will be theta. So further, df into x sin theta. Look at the both the torques, both the torque due to both positive, due to this positively charged element and due to negatively charged element should be clockwise. So therefore, I'm writing two times of df x sin theta. I think now further what you can write df as e dq further dq as lambda dx 
Okay, let me highlight things. So these, these are some very important things are there. So what is DS? Oh, oh. <laughs> I think this this highlighter. Yeah. There's a DF. DF will become EDQ. What is further EDQ? EDQ should be go to E lambda DX. I'll try to follow the sequence here. Then uh, to E lambda. Uh, why this sine theta? I think sine theta has come from here because of this one. So 2e lambda dx x sine theta or 2e lambda sine theta x dx will come. So what is the length of the rod? What is the, the limit should be? X should be from 0 to L by 2. And here x equal to 0 to L by 2. So this end of the rod is L by 2. Sorry, this is x equal to 0, no? I'll give one more diagram. I do like to explain everything through diagram. So that will be very easy. Instead of uh, assuming so many things. So what should be the limit? The positive charge. What should be the limit? 0 to L by 2. Fine the limit, then this should be equal to the torque about point to equal to E lambda integral of x dx will be x square by two, substituting upper and lower limit L square by four. Okay, what is the moment of inertia? Torque tau naught should be equal to I naught into alpha naught. What is I naught moment of inertia of the rod about the midpoint? So alpha naught equal to E lambda L square L sine square theta, 4 into what is the moment of inertia of the rod about its center? Rod of mass of and length ml square by 12. Substituting all, we'll get this alpha. Look at now this. Uh, how is alpha naught? Theta was given like this. How is alpha naught in this direction? So, in fact, a negative sign has to be here. It's a restoring torque. Well, let me introduce negative sign now. So finally, what is alpha? Alpha equal to 3e lambda by m theta. Comparing with the equation of SHM, omega square will get it as that t equal to 2 pi by omega. 